Good evening, everyone. A longtime Upper Peninsula basketball tournament is ready to make another run during March Madness. Entry blanks for the 75th annual Gold Medal Basketball Classic have been mailed to more than 100 teams throughout the Upper Peninsula and Northern Wisconsin. The tournament runs from March 14th through the 24th at the Hermansville Community Center Gym. Approximately, approximately 65 teams are expected to take part in seven men's divisions. There will also be a Class A women's division and a Class B division could be added if there's enough interest. There are also plans for junior high classes for boys and girls. Bray Bray is the tournament manager for the 24th year. You see his email address on the screen. The entry deadline is Wednesday, March 6th. A scattering of basketball games tonight, and Lance defeated Barriga easily in the Battle of Barriga County 73-33. The Cedarville and Charlevoix game was postponed, and in girls basketball, uh, Marquette and Gwen postponed as well. College basketball on the men's side, Lake Superior State led by 30 at the half and defeated Finlandia 89-55. Four Lakers in double figures. John Moore led the Lions with 13 points. Saginaw Valley State also led by 30 at the half, dispatching Lake Erie 82-62. Menominee's Brett Beeland had six points in just 10 minutes of action for the Cardinals, but Damon Bozeman had 35 points off the bench for Saginaw Valley. In the Michigan Intercollegiate Athletic Association, Alma College has a few players from the Upper Peninsula this year. Alma women did not do so well tonight. Olivet won 79-66. Nagani's Courtney Wara, St. Nicholas's Grace Wheeler, and Ishpeming's Mallory Pruitt scored in single digits for the Scots. Uh, the men also lost to Trine, 81-68. Gwyn's Kyle Aho had 12 points and 4 rebounds for the Scots. He's been getting much more playing time since the beginning of 2013. The Northern Michigan University Sports Hall of Fame will induct four new members on Saturday, April 13th at the University Center. The dinner and program begin at 7 p.m. Caitlin Compton was an All-American in cross-country skiing and cross-country running about a decade ago. Ken Godfrey served as NMU's athletic director from 2003 until his retirement in 2010. Dwight Hoffman was a four-time NCAA national champion and four-time All-American diver. And Lucia Pereira Shyak was a two-time All-American volleyball player. The public is welcome to attend the event. Tickets are $20 for adults and $15 for NMU students and can be purchased at the Superior Dome ticket office. Michigan Tech Sports are offering the deal of the decade, at least that's what they're calling it during Winter Carnival next weekend. You can get admission to all six home events plus two free parking passes for just $30 for adults and $15 for youth. That's more than 50% off. Tech hosts Alaska Anchorage in Winter Carnival next Friday and Saturday. Plus, the basketball teams have doubleheaders Thursday against Ferris State and Saturday against Grand Valley State. So check out the SDC ticket office for that. And the Upper Peninsula Football All-Star Game is set for June 29th at the Superior Dome in Marquette. The rosters have been announced for this year's East-West Battle. Jeff Olson of Ishpeming will coach the East. North Dickinson's Joe Redinger will lead the West. And you can find the rosters on our website and a list of the coaches at UpperMichiganSource.com.